Okay, so what I hadn't realized is that the vigilantes and the union boss are two separate groups. It's two separate people. Okay. Um, we've got to interrogate the vigilantes, interrogate the men in the union booth, find out what they know about the Hina Martinez. I thought we did that. We tried. I think we should try and hide in the bushes outside the window. Oh, let's do that now. Hey, friends. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Probably you just heard us doing all that, but yeah, we're going to go hide in the bushes outside. Let's see if we can at least. Or maybe try and find the eighth hardy boy. Oh, it's raining. Oh, there's a lady on top of here. She wasn't there before. Mm. Mm, that's Office interesting. Canopy? We can't really see because of the perspective. How do we get up there? Can we get up there through inside? We've tried before and we don't know the hey, way. Kuno. Do I want to talk to Kuno? I'm not sure. Um, Probably not. We just okay. want to go through his, his little secret house, right? Don't mind me. Okie dokie, and up this one. No, that one. Yeah. Uh, a ladder. Okay, so. I just click it sometimes they Maybe do their own we, thing. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we could try going down here somehow. I think we did try before, but maybe we didn't have the torch with us. We what were we looking for down here? Oh, to try and get through to where that lady ah. is. I shook my head. Did mm. you? So we think. So you can walk up this bit here, and that's how we got up there oh, last okay. time. Nice, nice, nice. Can you? To be honest, last time I just clicked up there and our characters walked up on their own. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Love how impatient he is. <laughs> You're like, pass it, pass it, pass it. He wasn't doing it. <laughs> okay, so it's down here, right? Yeah. So last time we tried to like jump over there, but I don't know if we've actually tried to go to that door and just like open it. Open it. Like, can we go around behind? Um, but, so... The tarpaulin cloak with possible Arsia markings is still caught on the railing. Okay. So, we're gonna... You have to leave the dialogue. So I want to take my stuff off. I want to save. First yeah, of all. save, take our stuff off, put a point into it, and then fucking jump. It probably won't kill us, right? So what's what's affecting us about that? That is, and I think maybe our shoes were as well. Right. So then we should have four Savoir Fair now, potentially. Right. Was our jacket affecting it as well? Or was it just two? Oh, that's a Pauline cloak with so possible we still have to put markings. points into Savoir Fair as well. We want to do that. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. I want to get past this fucking guy. Cool. Well, let's do it. Oh, last time we actually had to go out of the dialogue and then back into it. Okay. It's kind of weird, but. Um. The tarpaulin cloak with possible. Let's fucking do it! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I fucking got it! On the railing. <laughs> Breeze engulfs you, sharpening your senses. I want to just, I want to see Continue it. Continue our voyage. We don't want to close our eyes. Oh! As the concrete floor welcomes you, you realize it's been a while since you felt so alive, alert, capable. Must be the adrenaline. Fuck, that's great. Victory! Hell yeah. Huh? Your climbing may not have been as disco as your jump, but can we still get an acid high? For yes, sure. absolutely. With your feet firmly planted on the concrete, the noise of the harbour rushes back. Is it also going to be like, even though you won, you did slightly break your ankle, you've lost two health? <laughs> no. Yes! Oh, yeah, we got a coat back. I wonder if it has our 
<gasps> We're gonna put it on. Yeah, put a coat on. We're gonna be cool. What is it? Is it this? <laughs> Let's definitely keep wearing that. <laughs> no, no pants. Uh, <laughs> and some shoes, eh? The, oh, yeah. That gives us esprit de corps and shivers. Oh, we got more shivers out of it. That's cool. That is cool. Um, what did we lose from taking off the normal jacket? Nothing. Oh, okay, okay. Because okay, it's, okay. it's got both on it. Nice. Electrochemistry. And that's conceptualization, negative suggestion. What have we got here? Drama. I do like drama. Okay. Oh, is it? You should save it. I should save it. Uh, okay, I'll do I it. I feel so good about that. I genuinely did not think that was going to work. I thought like we were going to break our legs. 58% or something. Yeah, yeah. Pretty um, well even chances, right? They were. We, is something in here updated? What was oh, because we had a quest to get that cloak. Oh, did we? Yeah. Okay. So let's have a look around then now that we're on the side. Yeah. Thanks for coming with us, Kim. What's this? Collecting rainwater. Well, that's very important information. I'm just going to go to the top and then maybe back down here. As you pointed out, there's lots of uh, bottles up here that we can potentially oh, once we get our get bottle collecting, get a bag. Numerous empty bottles of Commodore Red and Potent Pilsner. At least three packs worth of cigarette butts. All those empty wine bottles and cigarette butts on the ground. Someone partied really, really hard here. Did I do this? Well. Yes, I think we can see it with relative confidence. <laughs> I suppose we did lose our jacket up here, right? I must have been on an advanced scouting mission in the hub. <laughs> yeah, let's say that. Yes, this looks pretty advanced, all right. <laughs> For now, let's just move on. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, we've been having a, a heck of a time. What's in here? This is the night watchman's booth. The name on the door reads, René Arnaud. Okay. Listen, Isn't that the... It's okay to take a few minutes to yourself. Sit down and have a breather. We just failed a check then. Um, mm. Wasn't Renee the guy... You know where the people are protesting? There's one guy that's halfway up the stairs. Was oh, that Renee? I don't know. Don't recall. I want to look inside the booth. Yeah. If you must. But please hurry. We are pretty easy to spot up here. Okay. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean and their sparse contents meticulously organized. There's a framed photograph on the table. Take it. It's a black and white photo of a young couple out in a street fair. The man is young, dark skinned, and dressed in a Royal Carabiner uniform. Hmm. The girl is smiling playfully at the camera. Carabiner. Why did you take that? Uh... <laughs> I'm a I'm cop. cop. It's instinctual to collect evidence. Fine. But let's move. I don't want to be seen snooping around here. Well, leave? Or do we want to have a seat? Let's leave. Okay. Um, there was something to look at down here. Mm. That might just be... It doesn't look like we can get down there right now. Okay, that's fine. Alright, how the fuck do we get to where oh. we need to go? All around you, great machines and quins... Quinsets? 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 Face. White pine trees are printed onto the screen covering. Looks like a forest in the snow. Oh, okay, interesting. Ooh. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh we have the power of the crane. Can we control the crane? A rusting control panel with several knobs. Two buttons marked Mush and Aret are faded with use. It seems to control the large crane above. Oh. The container is attached to its hook block. Okay, it's stop. Okay. So, so presumably Marsh is like go, like March? I assume so. Marsh. On. Okay. Arendt. Off. Cool. Should we play around with a Pushing giant industrial crane? I already touched oh. it. Shifts overhead, moving a massive metal container <laughs> through the air. <laughs> It seems fine. It seems fine. Interesting choice. <laughs> Maybe that'll allow us to get across somehow. Oh, we're gonna get in so much trouble. That's gonna be fine. This game's really like digging deeply into 
my need to go to play by the rules. Oh. And with a surprisingly quiet thunk, the crane places the container down. That's quite interesting because I think it wants you to not entirely play by the rules. Yeah, yeah, but it's like, I'm like, but I'm a cop, I have to follow <laughs> the rules. Yeah, yeah. And oh. then I'm naturally like that anyway. Right, so it's And probably... so it's like, it's like making me like real So you've got the... the... like digging a thumb into a, <laughs> a, a sore spot. Uh, the double whammy of how you feel and the... Um, identity of the character yeah yeah mm. even though i'm aware that a cops are not they don't all play by the rules and b Raphael is the last cop in the whole fucking world to always play by the rules i still have this kind of conception that we should be playing by the rules <laughs> the harbor sleeps as the strike rages in the distance the crane can rest again now that its purpose has been fulfilled its purpose what do you mean moving this container of course. For this purpose it was built. For this purpose it has acted. I mean that's and now it will rest. True in a, a sense that it's a video game and that crane was built inside this game to mm. do that. I can't thing. see how that was worth the records. Except for seeing the crane in action. Which I admit was so, no, 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 leave it because like... I think it might give us access to something. Oh okay. god, all right, all right. Well, <laughs> now that I've made you uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's just yeah. touch this. Use the fate, see faded industrial letting on the platform. File sound. sound. Could you do me a favour and press mm. tab for a second, just in case there's anything in our environment we've missed? That. What's that? What's this? Oh, 50 cents! Ooh! <gasps> hey! That was worth it! It was very much worth it. Good call. What are we thinking? We're thinking oh, what's this? Kval <laughs> sound means well fjord and. Pardon. Okay, thank you, I guess. Can I get in here? Before you stands a cargo container. Just one of many. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant, Lieutenant, I think there's something special about this container. You do? Because I don't. What? Why not? There are a million containers here. Why are you fixating on this one? Inspect the container. Maybe there's some contraband in there. There may very well be, but we are not here to look for that. But it's we are not here to interact with containers. We are here to interview the Open the door. Bus. You attempt to turn the handle oh. to no avail. The doors seem to be mechanically locked. Well. To your left, the lieutenant considers your actions with some puzzlement. I don't think there's anybody inside. I'm going to knock on the door. Okay. No reply. The knock produces a hollow ring of metal. Oh. Doesn't sound like there's anything <laughs> inside the container. Persuade the door to Fuck open it. with our rhetoric? Why uh. are you even trying to open the door to rhetoric? <laughs> yes, I <laughs> Because it was an option. Because what wasn't an option? <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're definitely sane. I'm not, but we're, we're, we're good. Okay. I cool. want in there now. Yeah, yeah, same. So tab is out, which is sense? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got a thing again. The shipyard ahead is oddly quiet. The great machines are sleeping. Yeah, well, because everyone's fucking protesting. The speaker tower is silent. There's no walk to organise in the yard below. I want that. I want that. It's because I'm using shift to... Um... The musk of oil and rust comes from the chasm in front of you. It smells like blood. Mm. Oh, rust, oh, well, I guess, just, eh? Yeah. What? What? It's locked. Bullshit! That's bullshit. Yeah, alright, well. Gimme. Whoop. Change! We're gonna Ooh, a whole dollar! We're gonna sleep on a bed tonight. <laughs> Industrial sized <laughs> dimmer. Smells like burnt coffee. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, wow, let's get in. Oh, oh hit tab again, my, my dear. There's a cup. Might have money in it. There? Where? Below. Oh, nice. Mmm! Ayy. Okay, let's talk to this person, eh? For a second I thought that was Kuno again. I did too. Banner sags under the weight of rain and snow. White raves on, waves on red. Hey friend. Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, put the logos on. Sure. The lyrics to this container song are being made up as he goes along. I strongly 
uh, endorse that. such behavior. Yeah. The accent is so thick, it's impossible not to notice he's Ubi from the vanishing peninsula of Ubisunt on Muindi. Okay. Container, container, used to be well pines. Container, container, now belongs to Everard. The tiny man is so engaged in his work he doesn't notice you. Hi! Everard, 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 he looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. How can I help you, mister? Don't know. I see you are not a union man, mister. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? We definitely are not a scab. So we're not going to say actually something. We're going to say, what is it with you people and scabs? I mean, I don't personally mind. Folks is just folks, you know. And folks gotta eat. He yeah. doesn't seem to be waiting for you to answer. Just some of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. Okay. <gasps> What's in the container over there? Point to the container suspended from the crane. Well, it's not suspended there anymore. Oh, that one. That should be empty as far as I know. Lots of containers here have nothing in them. They're just waiting to be loaded up. Okay. Tell you. <laughs> I need to know. Um, what are you doing with the containers? Hmm. Oh, I'm just making some Ooh. covers for them containers here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. What? Okay, hang Covers? On. What's what? this question? What is going on here? I'm gonna try it. It cannot be retried. Well, I'm gonna try it. Sure. Everything oh. is so pretty and red. Bummer. You and Leo look like brothers as you glance around with similar childlike wonder. Yeah. Fred is so much prettier than Drayvold Grain. Sure is, mister. Sure is. Really livens up the place. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Hmm. I had to break this bonding moment. But the red containers mean they are replacing the company livery with the union huh. livery, which means this strike isn't going to stop anytime soon. I assumed it was something like that. Okay, uh, should we ask him? I don't know about asking that. I feel like they could go one of two ways. One is that he's a, he'd be like happy to have a chat about his heritage, and the other being like it's kind of rude to just be like, "Hey, you're You've not got... from around here." You've got an accent. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to ask. Okay. Oh, yes. Born and raised in Arayish, mister. Mum had to leave my dad after he got a bit violent. Took us here to the new, new world. I was about ten then. Too old to lose my accent then. Ten, you probably would. Eh, some people do, some people don't. Uh, uh, one of my good friends is from uh, Zimbabwe. Mm. And uh, she was, I think nine or ten when mm. they came to New Zealand and she's lost her accent but her younger brother younger hasn't <gasps> that's so interesting my um someone in my family moved from Scotland mm. when they were 12 mm -hmm. they're an adult now mm -hmm. I know who um, and doesn't have an accent, accent at all anymore although yeah. uses kind of Scottish words which have rubbed off on it like we yeah but, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. For little. um their older sister by four years, I believe, does have the slightest. Yeah, I think it can sometimes be a little bit dependent on, like this friend in, in question, I think now she says like that she was kind of concerned at the time about fitting in. Yeah, the and same so, thing. Yeah. 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 Like inten made, not inten made an intentional effort to change. To the, lose the accent. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. to gain a different accent, right? Yeah, yeah. People say us Ubis are up to all sorts of trouble with sheep and other animals and whatnot. I just want you to know there was never any of that where I come from. No, sir. Those are just nasty rumors. Why did you just raise it out of yeah, nowhere, man? Where did that come from? <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that, sir. <laughs> oh, Kim. Okay. Why is it? Where is everyone? The harbour is empty. Oh, most of the guys are down at the gates, keeping the scabs from coming in. He leans in with a confidential look. We're on a strike. The whole union is. You don't have to work when you're on strike. Ha! We haven't worked for two months now. Okay. That's a long time. It is a long time. So no one is working? <laughs> Not everyone is down there, of course. Mr. Everard is in his office, where he always is. And Jean-Luc is oh, guarding Jean -Luc the gate. Jean-Luc the guy on the gate. Okay, he pauses to think. But Titus and his boys got into some drunken trouble and Everard sent them on a nice vacation for a week or so. Titus was the guy we just interviewed downstairs. Yeah. What did they get into? Yeah, I don't know if he'll tell us, but let's ask. Oh, I'm not really supposed to talk about that. 
that's union business. But he smiles and leans in closer. Him and his boy stirred up something in town. Probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. I heard Mr. Everett telling them to take some time off. I'm going to this one. What did they okay. actually do? I don't want to ask outright. Did they kill? Yeah, yeah. I guess the boys got a bit too rowdy and had to let out some steam. I don't really know the details. Well, that's just how boys are, you no, know. <laughs> I haven't been in a fight since I was in middle school. Easy, Leo. Let's keep this on the hardies. He looks to you for assistance. Look at him. It's not going to be anything useful anyway. Don't fight it. Better to go with the flow. Okay. I think we should go with the flow as well. Yeah, so let's hear about the fight you got into. Oh, I don't care about the fight he got into, though. But, yeah, let's go with that, just in case it'll warm him up to us. I remember I was the runt of the class. <laughs> the bigger boys always used to pick on me. You see, I had a bit of a temper back in the day. Flew off the handle like nobody's just business. Just like my middle brother. <laughs> but Miss Everett and his brother always came to help. Huh. Once they beat old Noel Becker so bad he needed stitches on his head. So he went to school with Evra. No will never start in another fight with anyone after this. Are you just talking about one of your siblings? Yeah, my my uh, middle brother when he was in intermediate was A, the tiniest kid in the class and B, the scrapper. He would just... No, if anybody tried to bully him, he'd be... <laughs> Mr. Everett and Mr. Edgar are real nice guys, mister. You should go talk to Mr. Everett. I'm sure you'll be good friends. He's friends with everyone around here. <coughs> oh, should we ask if he works here? Sure. Yes, yes. Everybody needs a job, and this is mine. I'm Leonard, by the way. Leonard Bellick. But everyone calls me Leo. He raises his hand in a welcoming gesture. I'm like Mr. Everett's right-hand man when Mr. Edgar is out of town. And Mr. Edgar's right-hand man when Mr. Everett is away. <laughs> oh, he seems like a real friendly guy. I like Actually, easy Leo. Actually, Miss Beaufort is the right-hand man, but she's a lady. <laughs> okay. Who is this Miss Beaufort? Yeah. Ooh. A real pretty lady with a skin like those Douay Sucre candy bars my missus likes so much. Them are real nice to suckle on once the dinner is done and me and the missus Looks sit like down beside that, the yeah. radio. But I can't listen to the radio all the time. There's so much to do around here, and I'm always busy keeping things running here. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I am. Tell us who this Beaufort is. Oh, Lizzie. She is a real sharp tool. Mr. Everett put her through some fancy school and everything, east of the river. Four years she was gone, and when she came back, she was all fancy and lawyerly. Oh, oh is it Elizabeth, Elizabeth the Gardner? Yeah, well, okay. the not Gardner. Yeah. He respects that word. That's obvious. But she's a real nice girl. Grew up in this here neighborhood. Knows everybody and gets along with everyone. <laughs> Apart from us. Real pillar of the community one day. Which, to I'm be fair, sure. we have been a right shit for days around here. That's true. That's true. If me missus and me was to have a child, I'd be real happy if she turned out like her. But she can't have kids. Oh. Dr. Lemaitre said so. And she knows about such things. Been a doctor for almost 50 years, she has. He sighs and falls silent, watching you meekly with his blue, blue eyes. Law school? Could she be talking about the union fixer, a.k.a. the god? I think we already know that. Shall we Another question? move on? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm glad to answer. Looking for the leader of the dot workers union? Oh, you want Mr. Everett then? He's an awfully nice fellow, he is. Him and his brother are both nice fellows. They've lived their entire lives in this here neighborhood. He coughs and continues immediately. Guys like Mr. Ever and Mr. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. Why do they have different last names? They what it is today. Mr. Ever and Mr. Edgar and I went to the same school we did when we were boys. Or maybe he's referring to them by their first name. Um, potentially, or maybe they are not biologically related, or yeah, maybe they yeah. went different I'm, parents. Or, I'm like, I guess the, yeah. all of that's interesting information, if that's the case, right? Yeah. Easy now, Leo. I just want to know where I can find this man. Oh, Mr. Evra is where he always is. In his office, of course. He points to the two joint containers on the right. Okay, let's go. Bye-bye now. Thanks, friend. Oh, so he's right here. Okay. <gasps> oh, we're finally going to speak to somebody we actually want to. <laughs> 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 I didn't mean it like uh, that. <laughs> where's Candy? Give us money. The 
coffee in this giant and the giant thermos is, is still lukewarm. Okay. Here he is. Stand made of pellets leading up. Oh, uh, he's a big guy. He is. Swordfish. Taxidermy fish tells the time. Right. All right, you ready? Let's have a do chat it. With him. Before you is a walrus of a man. Oh, what seated a face. Behind a large desk. He looks up from his work, not the least bit surprised to see you. Well, he's probably been expecting us, right? With great mm. effort, he straightens himself up in his chair, yet says nothing. Oh. He simply stares at you. Should we go straight to... Let's get to sure, why not? Welcome, Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsuragi. It's good of you two to stop by. Please, have a seat. He gestures to the tiny chair opposite to his ti his Ooh. huge desk. One of us is me. <laughs> okay. I'm Everard, Everard Clare, head of the Debardes Union here in Martinez. The man relaxes into his chair and continues. I'd offer you my hand, but unfortunately my health prevents me from getting up. You understand? Sure. He looks extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, looks like a torture device. People do that sort of thing on purpose, right? To make, sure, they do. Yeah. Um, yeah. People purposefully uncomfortable and out yeah. of sorts. Yeah. 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 Established on. dominance. You go ahead, detective. The lieutenant nods at you and then the chair. Whatever he has in store for you, it can't be good, he thinks. I'll do my best. Forget about that. What's with this Dubois stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes <gasps> from that name. It's our last name. I just realized that he called us this. Okay, all right. All right, friends, we have a last name. Now we're Raphael Dubois. Okay. Updated. Updated. Okay, uh, I'll rather stand. We're establishing dominance. <laughs> do we want to? Or do we want to make ourselves seem, uh, you know, compliant to him? Oh, I don't know. I don't think this man respects compliance. Okay. I could be wrong. I, I, I don't mind. I don't mind you saying any of those uh, things. I don't See, I want to ask you about the name, but I just feel like it's a bad look running around and being like, why, why are you why calling you, me? Why, why do you know name? my name? Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. Um, so I might just say I'm standing. Please, Mr. Dubois, let us converse in a civilized manner as equals. Take a seat. I insist. <laughs> I don't mind. What do you reckon? So just take a seat. It's not worth having an argument about Excellent, this. Excellent, Mr. Dubois. I can see that you're a reasonable man, and reasonable men. Reasonable men can be of great use to one another. Um, can I just point out that as he was saying this, we were like shuffling into this chair while wearing yellow gardener's gloves and holding a torch. <laughs> like, yes, we clearly look like well, a reasonable man. <laughs> and so imagine this, because I'm about to wink back as we're shuffling in and like winking. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how can we the head of the Debardes Union back. help a representative of the Revishal Citizens Militia today? The chair you're <gasps> sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable chair. That in seems the world. unreasonable. It's violating your backside. We should have stood up, Momo. <laughs> I mean, there's no way we would have known we would have been harmed by a chair. <laughs> anyway, we've got an extra way, health if we need I it. I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain Lawrence Gart. Some people have no manners. Wow, he really knows everything. Say. Yeah, Gart is a shit, and we know that. Like, well, he's well, he's doing his thing. He is doing his job, but I think we can kind of unload on this guy about that. Sure, sure, why not? <laughs> this should take care of that nonsense. <gasps> he points to a giant novelty check on his desk. It's absolutely comically huge. Oh no, he's buying us off. We can't do this. Ugh. I was like, give me the money, and then like, oh no, he's buying like. Well, I mean, what are our options? It should be sufficient yeah. to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with a cafeteria manager. Go ahead, take it. He points at it again. Wow, that's 25 real. Oh. That's good money. We don't need 25 real. need it. Yeah, no. I, if it had been 100, <laughs> I might have been willing to be bought off. But um, Yeah, I, well, I thought even more than that would have been. But um, we just sold off Kim's hubcap, so we're not doing that. Yeah. Um, how about we say number one just to get a little bit more information out of him? Yes. Wait, you know yes, Gart? Yes, I know Lawrence. He's a real character. 
No union man in him. A real piece of work, that boy is. <laughs> With a grin, he points to the checker game. It's like you're on a game show. At least don't thank him for it. Uh... Why? Are we gonna just keep it? I'm good. Are we gonna take it? No, we don't want to. Like twenty real or twenty five real? Um, I just don't think it's worth it. I don't it. think it's worth it considering what he'll expect from us in return. It's one night's sleep at a, a at a, a shitty hotel. It's not worth it. On the flip side, I'm kind of curious about what he'll expect from us if he thinks that we're in his pocket, but I'm. Um, I'm less keen on how upset Kim will be with us. So that's we take it. what I'm, yeah. 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 So I'm going to leave it. Okay, okay. I respect a man with principles. No handouts then. I mean, perhaps if we couldn't afford the, the nights at the yeah, end, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, we would yeah. feel differently. But um, he crosses his arms on his ample midsection and sinks further into his chair. Now. I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. Your lost gun. Let me assure you, union people are on it as we speak. I've got my best hounds looking for that lost gun. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good grief. I don't <laughs> think we want his involvement in that. And how does he know that it's missing? It's quite uncomfortable how much he knows. Eh? He knows fucking everything. Mm. His slug-like lips move, but all you hear is an echo. Lost gun, lost gun, lost gun. Especially because if the union gets hold of it before we do, who knows what they might do with it and then try and pin on us. Or use it as leverage against us for something else. Yeah. Mm. The world is swallowed oh. by a black hole of fear. Only two words escape its This is a difficult conversation pull. for us. Lost and Fucking Did we save it before we talked to him? Yeah. Uh, no. no, we didn't. When he said, don't worry, he mm. actually meant be very worried. Well, why not? Like, he hasn't said he's going to lord it over us yet. We know he will, but we can play the, oh, isn't that nice? Sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Would appreciate I'm your right, help. Harry. You seem anxious. Don't be. Everything's going to be all right. Harry Dubois! Harry Dubois! Uh, oh, fuck that name. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if your name is Harry. It's fine. But you could be Raphael. I mean, we could choose to be Raphael from this day onwards, and who's to fucking stop us? Also, I just want to point out, because you know how I said ages ago that I, I learnt his name by accident mm. on Tumblr. Mm. Um, it made me, in the intervening time, remember that really early on, we had a conversation with our own brain where we were like, our name could be something really boring like Harry. And then we were like, no, 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 Harry's a lame name. Oh. We don't want that name. <laughs> we like Raphael. Anyway. Okay. It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't oh, lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own mouths. It's in a safe place. I just know it. Oh, I he's have a got feeling it. everything's going to be all right. Also, how would you know if we left it loaded or not? Yeah, exactly. It was loaded. There were two bullets in it. You always keep at least two barrels loaded. <sighs> Well, I want to... That's a red check. I want to try that anyway. I'm worried we're going to take a, another morale hit if well, we shall I, that. Let's charge it. Shall I... Do, does a charge do one notch? I think so, yeah. Well, let's just use them. Yeah, let's use one on the... the morale? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Sure, yeah. God, uh, nope. you're sweating. Your knee is jerking. You're about to cry, aren't you? You're about to cry because you lost your gun and those children are going to shoot themselves with it. <sighs> Try to stay cool? It's not because men can't cry. Men absolutely can cry. It's because we're in this... In a bad situation. Yeah. yeah. I'd say that go with that one. Mr. Dubois, you don't look so good. No, we're not good right now. What is good. this, <gasps> Mr. Dubois, he keeps repeating? What is he trying to pull here? You need to cool the fuck down. I mean, how? Chill. Uh, we're meant to be somewhat 
intelligent and able to put lots of different pieces together. And yet when someone's calling us, he knew Kim's last name and he's calling us Mr. Dubois. We can't, fi- and we've forgotten her name. We can't figure out that this no, is our fucking name. I think it's more, I think it's more that we're having an emotional reaction to being confronted by oh. our past. Okay, 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 okay. That's my impression. That's fair. Mr. Dubois. Mr. Dubois. Harry. <laughs> oh, the man snaps his fingers, but to no effect, you're in some sort of stupor. We've got the option of keep on sliding down the chair like a jello gel- shot, or there are no Harrys. Let your mind go to your safe place. Um, I like that option out of the two. Yeah, also, this chair is apparently painful, so I don't want to be wriggling around in it. Yeah. Mr. Dubois, are you okay? Can I get you a glass of water or something? Are you having some kind of medical emergency? Yes. He knows that we've just been on been, a bender for days. We've been a, we're in a current state of medical emergency and have been for two days. <laughs> Maybe you could use your hands somehow in a kind of throwing <laughs> motion, like you're throwing that Mr. Dubois act right back at him. He's Mr. Dubois. Uh, so these are great options. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. We've got, I'm nah, I'm great. as good as it gets, Mr. Dubois. Vaguely gesture with your hands above your head. Or, yeah, <laughs> man, I'm fucking great. Keep sliding. Or, actually, this chair is uncomfortable. I could use that glass of water. So, right. Or, what? I'm melting. I kind of like two and three. I like three and four. Oh, okay, so then we should go three because that's our overlapping okay. preference. Yeah. The other one I liked was, oh, yeah, man, I'm fucking great. And just, like, keep on sliding. <laughs> But we're going with the chair is uncomfortable. I could use that glass of water. What an odd demonstration of... Huh, you got me, Harry. I don't even know what. As entertaining as it was, I'm afraid we're wasting our time. And I'm an extremely busy man. I love that we've just confused him. Yeah. Okay, enough. We are here to ask you some questions pertaining to a murder investigation. Yeah, back on track. Thank you, Captain. Quick, here's your window. Get yourself together and ask him questions. Police officer questions. Okay. It is about time to stop embarrassing yourself. <laughs> questions will help you regain some of your We don't care about number identity. one. No. Uh, don't care about number two. Don't care about number three. I want to talk about the hanging. Yes, and then also the... That's just the others. But more importantly, I guess, is the hanging. <laughs> oh, of course. That's your main thing here. That's why you're in Martin A's. I know everything that goes on around here, and I would love to discuss it with you. Fantastic. Let's discuss it. I mean, it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike. So much to talk about. Honestly, it's been weighing on me so heavily. I understand you need to interview me. (gasps) Ah, I love... I'm going to say nothing because it's an interview technique. Yeah. 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 But there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night... I want to talk about the hanging. I mean, if we could just calmly talk, exchange information, we could blow this thing wide open. What do you mean exchange information? We're not going to give you any information. What do you mean exchange? Yeah, he's up to something. I'm sure he is. Yes, that sounds good. Let's do that. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. You're police officers, (sighs) aren't you? I have a crazy idea. You guys are basically door-opening machines incredibly talented at opening doors i've opened a few doors in my life and apparently a window that didn't even open in the end over there <laughs> and i'm sure you're going to open this one with flying colors harry <laughs> this really is very simple and there's nothing shady about it okay. why do you have to mention that <laughs> an excellent opportunity presents itself sire you could win the trust of the arch liar pretend to play into his hand then should you wish bend his efforts towards your own. That sounds great. So basically he's saying that he wants us to do something for him and in change he'll give us information. Yes. So we've got, why don't you just open it yourself? Whose door is it? I bet you don't even know anything about the hanging or damn it, fine, I'll look into it. We need to talk about the murder, except the task. We don't even know what the task is. I'm going to ask, whose door is it? Sure, yeah. Oh, no one's. It's just a weasel. A weasel lives there. Nothing for you to worry about. Why don't you open it yourself? Mm, what do you mean? Uh, yeah? Harry, I'm a very busy man, and more importantly, I don't have that extraordinary physique you do. You look like you could run around all day. It's the you know cocaine. About that, but okay. Yeah. 
You want to send someone a message that the police are working for you. Oh, that's fine. Mm. I repeat, I'm a very, very busy man, Mr. Kitsuragi, and therefore I must occasionally enlist outside help. So what will it be, Harry? Mm. What do you mean by a weasel? A loud blabbering weasel. When weasels feel no one is watching, they start acting foolishly. He removes his glasses and rubs his nose. Just go there, unlock the door, and leave it open. It's been such a burden on me, Harry. I just want this to be over so I can discuss business with you. <sighs> what do you want to do, Issa? I'm going to say a bit you don't even know anything about the hanging. Okay. Harry, my dear friend, I am what people call a local bigwig. Mm. I know everything that goes on in Martin. I agree with that. He knows exactly who killed them and why. Um, it's interesting the language of refuse the task. Dot, for dot, now. For, yeah, which kind of, to me... I think we're going to get pushed into a corner with this. Yeah, I think so too. To me, it looks like we may not have an option. To refuse it, yeah. Mm, but let's if... at least try not to do okay, it, shall, shall we? we? Shall we just can't like, accept this? No. Nah. Of course, Harry, I understand. But if that's the case, I don't think we'll ever find your gun. Even worse, we won't be able to speak like equals about the murder. No. Perhaps this was just bad timing for you. Know that you can always come back to me. I really hope you do. For your sake, my sake, and for your gun's sake Fucking too. Fucking holding a gun hostage. Yeah. Yes, we both understand what you meant. This may be the only way, he thinks. I won't hold it against you. In fact, we probably should reconsider later. Okay. So, so even Kim, Kim Kim's thinks. On our side with okay. It. Okay. So we should take it then. Hang on. Um, do you want to ask that one? Mm. My dear Harry, the container. there are literally millions of containers in this harbour. I couldn't possibly remember. Harry, Sorry, you I didn't smooth to. talking son of a bitch. Time is a precious resource, and I don't have enough of it to count containers with you. <laughs> Smooth talking. Maybe that's the no, way we tried to go that. about <laughs> opening the container. All right. You should at least try convincing. Um, it. we're going to consider opening the door. Well, I just wonder if we should leave and and see if we can find out anything else in the town, and then if we get hit a hit a brick wall, essentially we can come back. Sure. But up, up to you if you don't agree. I just thought we could take it. And not do it. Hmm. But I don't know if by taking it, it closes off any other options. Mm. Um, so leave for now? I think leave for now. Wait. You need this to get in and out through the gate. Just say uh, great. Yeah. Here. You're one of us now. A real red and white union man. <laughs> Take care, <laughs> Harry. Okay, we've got a union cat. Cool. Alright. Okay. Is there anything in this office that we can which has sent our way? No. Okay. I love that he's just made his, his office out of like a stack of containers. Wow, that was interesting. Okay, so we refused a bribe and we refused Look, we're try we're trying to be you know, ethical and stuff. I'm just gonna. So intrigued with you. You're back before the cargo container. Its drawer has not. What did we need to put points into for That's that? That's a good, good question. Persuade. You're back before the cargo container. Rhetoric. It's. Okay. Wah. Okay. Interesting. Might actually save anyway. Yeah. Good call. Should we? What? How are we at for time? We're nearly. We've got a little bit more time. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else there is that we can do physically. Well, let's have a look. Oh, when can we pick up the die? In eight hours. File Tuesday, eight. Okay, cool. Find Norel. Interrogate the vigilantes. We still haven't found the Wild Pines rep. I was hoping we'd find her in this area. She should just be around here somewhere. Have we spoken with everybody? I don't know that we've spoken... We haven't spoken to all the protesters. Yeah, shall I... And the other area we haven't fully explored is, like, right down near the bridge. Mm. We got, like, partway there when we were looking for the, um... 
bookstore, but we didn't get like all the way to the bridge. Right. So can we get in and out of the door now? Is that? That's a great question. With the union card, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Cool. Okay. Ooh, Ooh new room. Okay, goodies. A giant ass print on the pillow and a pattern of coffee rings on the armrest. What's this? Radio emitting strange buzzing sounds? An imposing combination of a punch clock and a payphone is looking down at you from the wall. A note on the side says, tokens unavailable due to strike. Use change. Well, we don't need to use it right now, but no. that's good to know it's there, right? Uh, what else have we got around this? Oh, and that. Someone left the coffee machine on. What's that, um... Purple... Dark liquid in the pot looks almost sentient, okay? Standard office file cabinet the drawers seem to be locked. Postcard. Postcard. Okay. It's gone here. Can we shower? Desperately need to. Magnesium. Oh, nice. Oh, all right. Ooh. Oh, negative one to drama though. Still, something we could potentially put on just before doing a check. That's a great point. This Dewey is... typewriter. The model name is on the back. Every worker member of the board is written on top of the flyer. And at the bottom, the union logo and demand democracy. Okay. That's fair enough. So, did I open that? Yeah. On second glance, someone has forgotten to properly mm. close one of the drawers. It's unfortunate for the union to just leave their paperwork laying <laughs> around like safe. this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's inside, he thinks. Yeah. The drawer opens smoothly. Inside is a well-organized selection of brown folders. Let's browse those folders. Hundreds of documents containing logistical data. Two kinds of transactions stand out. Materials coming into Revachol from the outside world, from Muindi, Grad, and even Ilmara. And the same materials being handed over to companies inside Revachol, Kuron, Coal City, La Delta, and Jamrock are listed among the many districts where the imports are being sold. Okay. Anything interesting. It's hard to make sense of this thicket of company names, dates, quantities, and percentages. You try to focus, but the lines are getting blurry. I'm going to try this. It's a white check. Yeah. Um, and it's 42%, so you never know. Look how blurry no. all the lines on these papers oh. are. How unwieldy your own willpower is to yourself. You're like an absurdist Samaran monk. Focusing through not focusing. <laughs> Hermeneutics was almost within your grasp, but now only vague letters float before your eyes. Less meaningful, but aesthetically more pleasing. So if I let my eyes go completely out of focus, all shapes start melting into each other, or could I actually focus through not focusing? I like that one. You are a police officer, not a spiritual healer. <laughs> you can focus the normal way by turning your attention to something and not letting go. I'm just going to try this one if I let my eyes go completely out of focus. Is that what you're doing with those folders over there? No, of course not. Good. <laughs> this is probably not relevant to our case anyway. Can I try After it again? All, we are not investigating an accounting mystery. Because we focused. Okay. You're trying Aww. hard, but the data here is unbelievably dry. Dang. Something about containers. I bet that the container does have something. Shut. It will. Smoothly. It will. We should just take it. We, what we should do, maybe our next episode is, look, episode is look through some of those white checks we can try again. Yeah. And uh, Although we don't have a lot of spell, uh, points to spend. No, but if it's time for us to try again, we might be able to just try them again. Anyway. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if... Yeah. I wonder if he would know where the White Pines rep is. Let's talk to... Some randoms? Some randoms? This guy? He's a guy we can talkable. talk to? No? Bastards! Oh, he's a scab. We scared. have a right to <laughs> work! 
Men yells towards the harbour gates. His voice is the loudest of the lot and oddly screechy for a man of his size. We can ask him what's going on. Hold up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. The broad-shouldered alpha male turns to you. He's a full head taller than everybody else here. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. Why, why, why should, should I? We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with people who have causes. Then I'm thinking no. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work! Right to work! Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, oh. cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. Regardless, I've got some questions yeah. for you. Maybe you should ask them the questions. We have. Like, why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame on you! We have families to feed, you piece of shit. Points to swing at the man sitting on the railing. So do we, Scott. Um... Who are all these strike breakers? Honest men and women with rights to work, to be useful, not toys for corporate interests. The man runs his hand through a steadily graying military haircut. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. I understand your your feelings, mate, but also that's not how strikes work. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? That's a great question. You think they follow because I'm big and loud? No. They follow the rules of the market, the rules of the economy, because they were given a job to do! Should we ask what exactly is your goal? Yeah. We were promised work. We'd be in there, working, if the bastards hadn't shut the gates. And you're unable to breach the entrance? Main gate's locked. Would take heavy ordnance to bust it open and try to get in through the secretary's office. The door's locked. The guard's blocking the way to the access panel. Uh, uh-huh. And I don't mean the scrawny mess punk either. The big I guy. I mean head mm. measurer. Or whatever he is. What do you reckon? <sighs> Let's ask top one, just to get more information. Yeah. That giant up there on the bridge you talked to. Head measurer. Won't let the workers by. The access panel is right behind him. <laughs> How bad could one guy be? You seem capable. We say after having spoken with this guy already. Yeah. Bad. Standing on a narrow bridge, he's got a strategically advantageous position. And he's trained. I don't know how the Union has a trained killer up there. But that one's no joke. And my men are tired and hungry. They're workers, <laughs> not fighters. I don't think we should encourage him to storm in. So why don't you just talk? Like civilized folk, you mean? These native fucks don't understand civilized. Ooh, let's not talk okay. like that, eh? It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home. At least for now. If you can't get in anyway. Yeah, go find work at somewhere else. No. They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. So, I'm going to ask the top one just in case... There's some useful information there. When yeah. a bunch of ungrateful, lazy cockroaches can't get their act together, decide to block honest work for other That's people. That's not what a strike is. That's so funny because, like, <laughs> strikes... people never go on strikes without good reason. Like, yeah, or at least like... here it's 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 like that. Yeah, but like even I can't um... imagine anywhere because people don't get paid while they're on strike. Exactly. <laughs> so what do the strikers want? Beats me. They mumble nonsense about boardrooms and workers' rights, while we have the right to work! There's something odd in the way he carries himself. His set of clothing looks vaguely mismatched. I reckon he's a, a plant. He's a plant. Seem Ill -fitting. Yeah. yeah. His shirt is far too small and an unpleasantly tight fit, while the overalls yeah. held up by a belt seem to fit a man with much more corpulence. Yeah. He ignores your question. 
choosing instead to turn to the emaciated workers, raising both fists in the air. The clothes are obviously not his. Yeah, yeah. he's definitely he's a, plant. a plant. Silence is the answer. There's something off here, but he won't say what. It's interesting. He's been talking to him for quite a while now. Something is off with this guy. Ask him where he's from. Um, even in New Zealand, which is a relatively corruption-free country in the broader scheme of the world. Yeah, not to say there's not any, but... Um, yeah. yeah. Um, there are... Particularly in, like, environmental, like, protest groups and stuff like that, they keep, they keep being plants from the companies who are trying to stir things up, trying to make people do things that are like more illegal than just like what they were planning yeah yeah, yeah. and it's just like fucking hell could you just fuck off but it, it's such a nasty way to approach things mm. yeah so let's ask him where he's from what's it to you deep set suspicion drips from every cellar though um oh. let's say it's routine part of the investigation am I a suspect done no crimes I only fight for the rights of people Mm. Sure. Every once in a while, it's like you can see glimpses of another guy under the guise of this fighter for jobs. He seems a more brutal, cunning, and suspicious person. Just a hunch. Or you just might be. Nah, able. I'm going to ask. I'm interested in your background. We're all workers, right? Workers stick together. Came from the eminent domain in Jamrock. Backgrounds in odd jobs, heavy lifting, cargo hauling, bouncer work. I know the drill. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, but yeah, frequent a lot of us. Worked at Territorial. Ring a bell? Um, all of these are tasty in their own way. They are. So we've got, yeah, I think I've been there, but I've been there. And, not right now, but I might have been there. I don't really remember things well and never heard of it. Are you lying? I feel like maybe the second one. Okay, I was going to say the bottom one, but let's um, get in there. Uh-huh. It was a long time ago. Yeah, okay. I want to ask this again and see if we can get some other options out of it. Okay. What's it to you? I thought you looked real familiar there for a second. Okay. No. Don't think we've met before. I came to help out the people. Mm. Uh huh. Every once in a while, mm. it's like you can see glimpses of okay, another sure, sure, sure. The man has turned his butt into you. Big mess caused by union greed. But I only fight for the rights of people. Uh huh. Every okay, once in a while, the man like has turned his attention out of it. So that's, elsewhere. I just wanted to say, if there's anything else we can get yeah, out of Yeah, yeah. All right, who, anybody else around here? No. no. I'm just going to scoot around the back. Yep. Oh, there's money on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what's this. A lorry stuck in the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grad made machine is well kept for such an old machine. Yeah, let's look in there. The windows are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorry man's cabin with personal belongings, stickers, insignia. Fumes of heavy fuel oil waft over you making your eyes sting the odor mixes with cigarette residue okay what kind of stickers the driver has adorned his space with a substantial collection of peculiar paraphernalia proclamations about honor strength and purity are glued to various panels sure. interesting a large metal pendant hangs from the rear view mirror the pendant features a sun crown with wavy rays. I wonder what that means. Interesting. What about the back seat? The back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep. Large ashtrays. There are several suns and wheels sewn into the curtains. Ooh. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. Uh, Not unusual in this part of town. This is our guy. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Likely, yes. This guy's proud of who he is. Drapes it all over his machine. Okay. All right. all right. I think that might be all we have time for. Do you right want to just do me a favor and uh -huh. hone right down to where the bridge is, just in case there's anything at all there? Because if there's nothing, I think that might mean that we kind of have no choice but to help out the union guy That's a to progress point. the story. 
So we may as well find that out now. So we're just scooting down. Is this, this the bridge? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see it. Who's that guy? Hi. Are you the cryptozoologist? Good you, officers. Man on Waterlark. Is he holding a knife? A burly man hangs out yeah. by the Waterlock, carving up a generous serving of salami with an old hunter's knife. His eyes are fixed on a man stranded on the other side of the waterlock hmm. and on an enormous billboard that has fallen down into the canal between them. Uh, what are you doing here, man on the waterlock? Yeah. My friend Barry the Butcher is stuck on the other side of the waterlock. I'm keeping him company and eating this salami. Yep, okay. right. Cool. Tracks. From the corner of your eye, you see a man in a yellow shirt and grey overalls waving at you from across the canal. He seems disappointed about the wreckage on the waterlock and the salami. Yeah. That's fair enough. It's making me hungry. Very good stuff. Anything I can do for you, officer? Yes, you can give me some salami. <laughs> what caused this wreckage? I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that side. Ooh. Weird, huh? Then again... Plenty of daredevil drivers in Rivershell. Somebody tried to drive over a sign? The words daredevil driver sound ominous. Oh no, to did me. we do it? Oh shit. Too bad it also takes a year and a day to repair anything around here. Especially a water lock. The rest of the coast is closed off till then. Oh. How did we get here? <gasps> Can I have some of the salami? Yes. But I'm more sure interested thing. in how we got here and did we have a car? Yeah, but what well, didn't say us? It didn't, that wasn't an option. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm just it making is salty. <gasps> yes! It is savory. <laughs> it is chewy. The hangover only makes the salami. I feel validated. Tasty. That's absolutely legit. Want some too, officer? I know. <laughs> the lieutenant ponders the offer for a moment and decides to go for it. He takes a slice of salami from the man and chews on it. Nice. All right, let's ask what's further down the coast. Well, there's the fishing village, an abandoned fish market, a bizarro church. I've got to go to that Not church. Not much used to the congregation, though. There always seems to be something wrong with it. I'm so oh. curious about it. It's a front for something else, potentially. Yeah, not really much else. Oh, okay. Just bombed out ruins. Thanks. I love that he's just hanging out with his mate. A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. Loose wires dangle from the now vacant holes. In the middle is a lever. Beneath it, a small metal plaque. Oh, speaking of broken electronics, oh, the fuck. reason that uh, Iz is playing is we're actually at her place tonight. We normally record this at my place, but my computer just decided to stop turning on today. So that's fun. Really good, helpful in time for Christmas when we... That's a bit stressful. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> This panel usually closes the water lock, turning it into a bridge that lets you cross the canal. But there's a crashed Samaran butter sign in the way. Pulling the lever probably won't do anything. Well, if it won't do anything, let's give it a go. You pull the lever all the way up until the metal clicks against the contact pins. You hear a soft clunk. Then nothing happens. I think we should not risk breaking it. And maybe we can figure out how to clear away the debris. Mm. Mhm. Mm you want to push it harder? I want to push it harder. You'll break it. There are consequences in this game. Yes, you're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a spring brings the lever back to its mm. original position. You still need to close the water lock to get across the canal. Some other way. Okay. Wasn't there a sign over there saying functionality will be restored on Wednesday? That's morning? a fucking oh, okay. lie, though. Well, okay. It's Tuesday. Um, I think we should leave it there. That was pretty good. You wanted to look at this. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't seem like there's much we can no. do. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, let's cry, climb underneath the water. Okay, so that doesn't seem like there is much we can do, but I think. That's an interesting task. Yeah, yeah, and we could... Hey, the guy disappeared. Oh, shit. Um... He's out of salami, I guess. 
uh, we can at least see if somebody turns up on Wednesday to try to fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll just sign down. <gasps> Friends? Um, if you guys think that uh, we should definitely take the, the offer from the, um, oh, yeah. the guy, let us know. Let us know. Um, especially if it's one of those things where it's like, we can't actually progress the story unless we do it. Yes. Um, if there's something major that we have missed, give us a hint. Because I think we're feeling a little bit like, how the fuck do we do anything now? Progress things. Although I am having fun kind of romping around, to be honest, and chatting with people. It's true. Um, it's true. All right, friends. I hope you're having fun uh, romping with us. Yes. And we will catch you next time. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.